I am brewing my second experiment in the Waters Brewer Study. And so for this experiment, I am going to be um, using no minerals in my mash water or sparge water or any water. So yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how that will really affect the yeast and how the yeast health do with no minerals, whereas in every other water I've used, they all have minerals which yeast eat to produce healthy yeast. And so yeah, I'm pretty interested to see. We are starting with three and a half gallons of distilled water from Arrowhead here. And we're gonna be adding into the kettle right here. And yeah, let's just start doing this one is two and a half gallons per container. It will be uh, seven and a half pounds of pale two row organic, um, one and a half pounds of caramel 20, and one pound of car carapils, or half pound of carapils, sorry. And then the hops are eight ounces of Cascade, eight ounces of Nugget, and eight ounces of Chinook in the same order. And the yeast is American Ale yeast too. And I'll be doing only four hop additions in the start of the boil, 30 minutes, 45, and then at the end of the boil, 60 minutes. And four and a half pounds of organic two row. I have one pound of caramel 20, half a pound of carapels, and uh, three pounds of organic two row. I like to do like a, a sandwich, I guess you can say. Your base malt, then your, then your, the rest, all your other malts, and then the rest of your base malt. Kind of in a sandwich like that. And so yeah, what I'll be doing is I will pour all the water in, then I'll start pouring this in. And after I pour all that in, then I'll stir it since I don't have a helper here to kind of do it all with me. So yeah, it's saying it's at 180, perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Let's put that in here. Mm, not too hot. Yeah. I'm bring this down here. Pour it in down here. Valves closed, yeah. Arp. Like I said, I want it. Uh, now it's in 180. 177, 176, 178. Hmm, like I said, my first time using this little brand new thermometer thing. It's uh, it's like infrared or whatever thermo. It measures, it measures through a laser basically. And so I can see the numbers on the screen here just constantly changing. And so I have my. Old Faithful, I'll just put it in there to see what it actually is. Now it's in way, maybe I should just turn it off. Wait to see what that thermometer says. And yeah, there's uh, three and a half gallons of all distilled water in this mad kettle here. And I'm going to be putting that into this. This is my mash tun. And, um,. Yeah, I have my malt here. I have four and a half pounds of organic two row. I have one pound of caramel 20, half a pound of carapels, and uh, three pounds of organic two row. I like to do like a, a sandwich, I guess you can say. Your base malt, then your, then your, the rest, all your other malts, and then the rest of your base malt. Kind of in a sandwich like that. And so yeah, what I'll be doing is I will pour all the water in, then I'll start pouring this in, and after I pour all that in, then I'll stir it since I don't have a helper here to kind of do it all with me. So yeah, it's saying it's at 180, perfect. Cool, 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 let's put that in here. Mm, not too hot. Yeah, 
gonna bring this down here, pour it in down here. Valves closed, VAR. That smell is amazing. I love that smell. Uh, get all those sugars. Get all those sugars and yeah. sweet. That's good. First runnings are always good when they're sweet. I just want to see what the pH is right now. I usually measure it halfway through. What would you guys think this will be with all the still water and no minerals? What do you think the pH will be? It was 5.2 last group. Five point two. Not kidding you. It says five point two. I would expect it to be a lot different. Um, that makes me. That's interesting. I think my pH meter might be just fucked up. But nonetheless, it said five point two, and that's that's good. Between five point two and five point four is what they say you should have. But um. We'll see, I mean, it, what if a 5.1 beer tastes better than a 5.3 beer for the mash pH? What if, what if, what if? Oh man, I'm getting a little tipsy. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna go on for basically days. Once again, I guess I'll introduce myself again if you just tuned in. My name's Ty Stevenson, I'm the Waters Brewer. And um, today we're doing experiment number two. We're brewing an IPA. Seven half pounds of organic turo, one pound of caramel 20, and half a pound of carapils. And we are during the mash out, and for this experiment, um, I use all distilled water. And last experiment, in the first experiment, I used 22 and a half grams of gypsum in my brew, which is a shit ton if you know a lot, anything about uh, water chemistry. And I just bottled that brew today, so in about two weeks, I'll be able to try it at least and see how it tastes and see how the 22 grams really affects it. You can find out more on YouTube or um, on my Facebook page here. Uh, I uploaded the videos and you can watch them anytime you want. But yeah, 
this will happen and once it comes down to the point where it's about to touch the top of the bed like it looks like it is right now, I haven't even taken a drink, I'll start sparging. So let's go ahead and uh, do a spot, shall we? So this water's been up to temperatures at 180. And I'm just gonna, this is my best rube way to sparge. And in my mash, I have three and a half gallons of water and I uh, sparge with 180 degrees. Most people would say that's pretty hot, but for me it works well. My uh, Maybe I could drop it down to 178, 177. But um, my mash pretty much the whole way through is 160, 159. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah. I'll tell you guys a little bit about me, I guess, while we're just, just freaking sparging a little bit. Um, I'm 25 years old. I was in the Marine Corps for six years. I was in the reserves. I graduated high school in 09, went to boot camp while I was 17 years old, still um, back in 09. Turned 18 in combat school while on fire watch for eight hours. And uh, yeah, then I, during, when I was in the reserves, I would go to my unit on average, like, on average once a month. But for me, it was more like every, or one week in a month, but for me it was like every four days, every month and a half, every two months. And I'd, we'd go do training. We'd, I've been out to Hawaii, I've been to Utah, I've been to all these different places. But I never did do a tour. My freshman year of college, so my first year in the Marines, they, uh, they, like, they called me saying, oh, you have orders to go on a deployment. I'm like, oh, shit, they're going to fucking send me to Afghanistan. I'm like, okay, let's mentally prepare for this, you know? And, uh, anyways, in the Marines, like, nothing ever happens until, like, you're on the plane right there or you land on the ground. And so, anyways, I didn't, I didn't cancel school. I didn't cancel work or nothing like that. And, uh... Two days before I was going to cancel everything, actually, they called me again and canceled my orders. And those people that ended up going on that deployment went to Italy and Africa. And I am so jealous and mad that I didn't get to go. Because I didn't get the money, I didn't get the experience, and I didn't get the ribbons. And, yeah. So, that's that. I graduated college. Same year, I got my six years done in the Marines. Um, had a job paying $30 an hour right out of college, and I quit that job just because... For me, it wasn't worth it. Like, I was getting bossed around by this person, and there was a language barrier, and it just wasn't worth it for me, even if I was getting twice as much as what people normally get out of college. And so I went ahead and started my own business. I literally woke up at 5 a.m. one day. I just got a brand new wolf dog. Right, she's laying down right there. Her name is Remy. And, um, yeah, I just said, fuck it. I'm going to start a business. What's, what's an opening in the business? There's a uh, water chemistry. Okay. There's, you have all these big companies for malt, hops, and yeast, but you have nothing for water chemistry. Why is that? If it's 95% of beer, why is water so unimportant? And so my mission is to, I guess, bring awareness to water and how it affects the overall beer. And that's why I'm doing the Waters Brewer study. So, I don't need to throw any more water in yet. I'll probably wait a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, I was born in Tracy, grew up pretty poor. Ended up living out of apartments and like motels until I was 13 years old when my grandparents took me in. And um, went to high school out in Livermore. Played baseball for like 13 years. And yeah. And then I started listening to a lot of, a lot of audio books and podcasts and everything about brewing. Read about probably eight books on brewing now. Nine, ten books on brewing. How to brew. Um, starting or brewing up a business from seven cows you own at Dogfish Head, water, yeast, um, radical brewing, um, American sours, American sour ales, beers, whatever I think it is. Uh, what else did I read? Lagunitas was the first one I did. The first one I read, the How to Start a Brewery, I think it was called. And that was the first book I read. And I did all this in a year's amount of time. In that year's amount of time, I went to the Kitsai's course in brewing technology online through Siebel Institute of Technology. And that was a three month long course. And I completed it with 89%, which is okay. It's, I should've got 100%, but whatever. <laughs> and so, yeah, I know a little bit about brewing, but I'm definitely still a student.
And so like right now is when I would want to... Uh, maybe not. It's not even at a gallon yet. I'm just going to check it anyways. 5.3. Perfect. I will accept that 1,000% of the time. Off. And so the reason we strike with uh, 170 instead of 155 or 160, which the national only is, is to pretty much stop all conversion. You want it to stay 60 minutes. You don't want it to go 75 minutes while you're still sparging. And um, yeah, that's a little bit about that. I just had my first round of hops and doing a 60 minute boil. And then after that, I will be adding the yeast, which is American Ale strain number two. Yeah, if you want to follow me, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, freaking YouTube, whatever you want. Um, yeah, I'm very interested in see how the water really plays a role in the final factor of the beer. And also, can I brew the same beer 30 times in a row? Probably not, but we're going to try it anyways. So, <laughs> water is going to play a role in the beer. I think it's super important. With no minerals, I would expect there to have no nutrients for the yeast, which would give it some bad health and maybe not ferment too well, which we all know fermentation is freaking the number one thing. So, we'll see. I have 0.8 ounces of Chinook. Next, in, in the 30 minutes of the boil, 0.4 ounces of Cascade with 45 into the boil and another 0.4 ounces of the cascade at the end of the boil for 16 minutes. At that point, I'll run my wort chiller through it, get the cold water running through it, cold water running through it, take about 15, 20 minutes, and then I transfer that into my fermentation vessel right there, and I pitch my yeast, and I'll shake it up a little bit, aerate it a little bit, and see how uh, distilled water will ferment without the minerals. I'm scared. I don't think it'll turn out good, but that's okay. If it doesn't, then I know why at least. Alright guys, well, thanks for